So hello guys, welcome back to the new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use chiclet slicers in Power BI. So the chiclet slicer is similar to the slicer filter, which is natively available in the Power BI, but it has a lot more flexibility and it includes the ability to use images and buttons instead of text as a filter. So for this uh, tutorial, I will be working with this Superstore dataset. It has columns like order date, category, sales, quantity and profit. And first of all, I have made a bar chart which shows the sales by category. So as you guys can see, we have three categories, furniture, technology and office sales. And over here, this is my chiclet slicer. And as you guys can see, instead of text, by default, it adds buttons. So I have a button for furniture, I have a button for offices, I have a button for technology. Let's select one. Let's say we select technology. So as you, as you guys can see, we have successfully. So as you guys can see, uh, the bar now the bar chart is only showing technology information. If I select office supplies, then it is showing both information. And similarly, if I select furniture, then it will show all the three information. Now one more additional feature this chiclet slicer has is we can use images as a filter so let's see how we can do that so for that we'll select this chiclet slicer now in the image field i will add icon so we'll drag and drop so as you guys can see now there is no text anymore we have added buttons as a filter so let's see i cl i click furniture so only the furniture data is selected now one more let's say office supplies so in this way we can add images as a filter as well using this chiclet slicer so let's see how we can do this so for that first of all it is not an inbuilt visual so we have to import it so in order to import it we need to go over here click on get more visual search for chiclet slicer and you can add it from here then uh, simply you need to create one bar chart I will uh, create a new page over here I will select prof uh, sales it was sales and category so the bar chart is ready now we need to add chiclet slicer so I will bring it over here this is my chiclet slicer so I will double click on this oh sorry we we'll need to double click on this over here I will make it slightly bigger yeah now in category I will put category so by default it makes buttons now in order to make images we simply need to drag and drop icon which is basically which contains all the images url so we'll bring it over here so as you guys can see we have successfully created a slicer which includes buttons as a filter so this is the advantage of using the chiclet slicer instead of normal slicer it gives more flexibility to your dashboard so in this way one can make use of chiclet slicer in power bi thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for more upcoming videos